Okay, this is just a quick disclaimer before the video, and I think I'm putting on at least two videos. I have recorded these, and then afterwards these were overcome by events a little bit. So, what's going on is, is that I've discovered from watching the Choking Hazard podcast uh, this weekend that the front wings here and the back wings... They're supposed to affect the handling of the car. And they do. In free mode. But apparently that functionality is not working in the actual races. It goes back to the default handling mode for the races. So anytime in these videos where you say, you know, oh look, you know, this is, you know, I feel this difference in the car. If I, if I say, well, with the championship wing, it's turning in a little bit better. Yes, that's placebo effect. Now, what's not placebo effect is that uh, the tires, as far as I can tell, I don't think that's working either because I can't tell a difference between soft, medium, and hard tires. It's, you know, I don't mean just the handling of it. I mean, they wear, they both, they all burn up pretty quickly. So, I mean, they, you do get the, the, the race handling of the, the, uh, the car going away when they burn up. That works. They blow up. I mean, they, they, you will pop the tires if you, you let them go too long. But... For right now, everything's acting like soft tires. There's no, uh... There's no, you know, real difference in the car. Now, I, and out here... I do think I'm getting a little bit... A little bit better turn in, but I mean, it's a subtle thing. I'll put it to you this way. I, um... I'm not gonna change it back. I'm gonna wait and see... If they ever get it fixed. Let's jump in on this. Oh, that, there you go. That's that's my disclaimer for the day. And on to the video. Okay, the, the races are out now. It is the 27th of February, and I have learned a few things. Primarily from GTA Men and Bruffy. Lots of Bruffy involved there. A lot of, those are my two main updates today for what's going on in the world and they've done some really fascinating things with this car you know the, the fact what that now the uh, the adjustments to it are are not all uh come on where is it the pr4 i'll get there as soon as i can the fact that the wings on this pr4 actually are meaningful and that they will different wings give the car different performance is just fascinating so it's not just a matter of style, and that means, considering it's a three and a half million dollar car, we are likely going to change the arrangement probably multiple times if we dial this in for our own driving style. Right? My driving style. Oh, uh, let's like see. Armor is up. Yes. Body work. I don't think the body work matters. We can leave the body work alone because we're going to be we're going to look at front bumpers now. I left the stock bumper, you know, as it was. The low front wing, according to Bruffy 1322, should give me the the, uh, the least amount of front downforce and the highest top speed. Whereas the downforce increases, it increases, downforce increases as you go further up, and the top speed goes down. So if we go with a low front wing, we could get the best top speed. Now, the interesting thing here is and the shortened wing actually the one i picked was the the uh the highest top speed so we're not very far off from the stock look anyway and everything else should be maxed out let me see we got music going here i bet not let's see some might have been some music going on there in the um inside let's let's increase the sound effects volume a little bit here I think it's going to be important for when we uh, we want to hear that engine. Wow! Now again, the handling is so good naturally. Like this is with the least amount of downforce. And there's still so much down for us, you really don't have much to worry about.
in theory. Now, I mean, if I'm driving, I decide that I need this thing to turn in a little bit better. Oh, you know what? I wonder. I wonder if you could do a time trial with this. You should be able to, right? That's an interesting thing. Will it break boost? Which I'm not a master at. I didn't tap it properly. Not it's it's hard to do because it, it it does it does. I don't know if it, I don't know if it break boosts well. Let's see. Yes, it will do it. My, I don't know if that's real effective, but let's 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 see something here. I hadn't really planned. I'm doing any racing right now. Maybe we can give this a shot. Just a little shot. Because I really do want to try it. I, mean, I don't really even have the time tonight, but I'm going to give it a shot. Here. All right. Open wheel, more haste, more speed. This is my first attempt here. Uh, let's see, map. Okay, there's a lot of wiggles. So in theory, this might be a, uh, a race that would be good for something with more downforce. Now, they've, they've got customs turned off, which is probably wise, because the cars are three and a half million dollars, and who has, you know, how many people have one? I won one, and I didn't even win it using... Look at that. There's a guy named Maximum who's got a, a ranking of 69.69. Yeah, no modding there. Um, so it would be fair to everybody who, anyone who didn't win it. Um, believe it or not, I actually won mine on the first spin of the wheel. And uh, that's actually, can come to think of it, depending on how I edit this video, that might be, that might be in there. Maybe we'll cut this little part out. I don't know what Let's see what happens as we race this. All right. Pierre for yeah, Jakey's Lager, Redwood Racing, Estancia. That does look good. I think we have to go with the Estancia tobacco. There we go. Let's find continue. Uh, let's see. I hope that they did pick the PR4, right? Yeah, I believe so. Ooh, that was quick. You hear that? That little puff of the sound of tires popping. I don't remember setting my tire heart. We're even looking at the number of laps, because those are things too. This is to keep an eye on the tires. Okay, so the turbo start still works. I don't know how to hit the use the curves. Wow, this is really fast. Oh, he's just bumpy McBumpmeister, isn't he? Not realizing how he's just hurting his own tires. What is? How do you do the curves boost? Oh, it's not, it's not active until the first, uh... Okay, I've just lost my... No, he, I took his wing off. <coughs> okay. So, I kept my wing, took his wing. Wow, this is really... You do a lot of braking. That's a rough track. Here's the trick. You can't, uh, if you get damaged... You can't uh, reset and fix your damage. Whoa! That slipstream is powerful. This is the first time I've ever raced this, so I've really uh, not got a feel. Whoa! Did I miss a... Did I miss a... I'm going to respawn this, but it's not going to matter. I just feel like I've missed a checkpoint. Yeah, I, I missed a checkpoint somewhere along the line. I got wrecked out of a checkpoint. And you see, I, I'm now, I'm out. I'm out of the race for the most part. I've, I've been too damaged. 
I missed a checkpoint somewhere along the line. And look, Rockstar. If I'm on the track for the most part, I shouldn't miss. Hey, this this no, this isn't the pit line. We're pretty much doomed to last here. But I've got no control whatsoever on a really tight track. We're pretty much limping. We have to find find the pit lane. Ah, oh, man, you lose that you lose that rear wing. You're, you're in serious trouble. Really, what's killed me though is uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so at least we can get a feel for the car. Maybe pull some fast laps here. Two of ten. Boost enabled. How do you hit? How do you use the boost? Is it E? Yes, E. Okay, E is a good way to do it. Okay. Can we? Let's. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a lap. Yeah. I, that's a really nasty. Even like even with well, this does have stock wings. So it's not it's not flat out everywhere. On those 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 turns, a high downforce car might be a thing, but on most tracks, it's going to be overkill. And you still have to pay. Every time you change the wings, you have to buy new wings, so life gets expensive if you, you're not going to want to... The, the trick is to, to learn how to drive the car. That's going to be the key. I wonder how many checkpoints I missed there. Because how far did I go? Because that seemed like a much... Okay, I think he's probably been pat around us once, so that's just me unlapping myself. I heard him closing on me, so I hit the turbo boost there. Hit the curves. Hit the curves again. This is not easy. This is very high skill driving, but it, I have to say, it is fun. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this more than I thought I would. Here come the frames. I thought I thought I was gonna go flying into the wall because the frame rates went away. Whoa! What? Well, I guess I won't be last. Oh, that turn! That hairpin is just nasty. You really kind of need to use the curves just to, you know, keep yourself, get yourself back on track. At least I do. I don't know. I mean, I think watching Bruffy, he thought it would be more effective to increase the top speed as opposed to using it as an acceleration tool because the cars do accelerate so well anyway. Like that. But these, these straights are so short on this track. I don't know. I usually hit it when I start hearing cars approaching. <laughs> Once you get out of your head that these are like magic cars that will uh, corner any over anything, they'll, they'll, they have a huge amount of cornering ability, but not infinite. 
not infinite by any stretch. I am curious as to how I'm going to end up ranking here. It's like these guys don't know that they have to use the pits. Is that for position? No. You get the slip, hit the button. And give them the slip. It's not to give him this up. Yeah, I shouldn't have used it right there. Oop. I'll wait for him. That was my bad. He backed into the thing, though. That was his bad. But still, that wasn't for position. He's either way ahead of me. He's going to have to pit now. Tactically speaking, it will increase your top speed if you get your wing knocked off. But, you know, it would have to be a very, very specific track to take advantage of that. And again, all I'm doing right now is trying for... A, you see how good I can do as far as my laps are concerned. I just got too screwed up missing that checkpoint. And I think I, it happened when I got taken out there. When that one guy just started just driving everybody away from checkpoints. It seems to be like a technique nowadays. That seems to be where I like to hit the curves. That's that little short stretch. I don't know. I don't know if I wouldn't prefer a little bit more downforce on some of these. You got the slip on me there, I guess. Cut back. Oh, we get tangled. I wonder if he missed the checkpoint now. Well, when these cars get tangled up, it sure is an angry thing. I tend to just hit the curves anytime I hear an engine. Burrito Barry finished. I think he, I'm, I'm a lap down. I'm a DNF. We may be racing for best DNF here. And again, I don't think I'm taking full, you know, full advantage of the car's cornering ability yet. Not even close. But this is only my first race. I have two more laps to go. There's no way we're finishing this. So well, let's see. Those are potentially two times that we can get, you know, a good lap in. A fast lap. Learn the car. No point in giving up. But the DNF in my first race out with these, not a surprise. I would have done, I think, a lot better if I had only... Oh, dear. If I had only uh, not missed that checkpoint. The checkpoint was the big deal. I mean, I've made mistakes all throughout here, but... Probably not taking full advantage of the curves boost. Not the best lines. I mean, you have to really learn what this car likes. Why is it snapping on me? My tires are gone. Uh, 
we have to pit. We burned the tires out. That's an interesting thing. Oh, there we, we ended the race in the pits. DNF. That's neat, though. Burrito Berry. Isn't that the guy that I randomly fell and selected? Ah, that's just weird. So I had a 101. Not very good compared to the 55 that Burrito Berry was pulling down. Lowest card in the field. <sighs> what time is it? I'll do, I'll do one more. Whatever one they want to pick. In due course? Okay. How come... I'm here. Are we in a solo? Or are we in a... Is somebody here? Is this a, a solo public or a solo regular? Do I have public session? Alright. Well, I guess we're going to call that good for right now. At least for this video. There will be more racing videos to come. I don't really have the time tonight to do like a good, nice long racing session, but at least I got a taste. I think I'm going to edit this together with a few previous videos so it all makes cohesive sense, hopefully, but we'll see how it goes. On that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.